Yeah. Bell ringing, so when we drop a video, you know about it first. And I didn't retire. I didn't retire. <laughs> Joe Loki. <-key> Almost here. <laughs> he's on the brink of retirement, my nigga. He's like thinking about if he nah, wants to nah, go nah, be an announcer. I'm I'm wants to. Yeah, this thing is Vince Carter. I'm right injured. Yo, I'm man. injured. <laughs> yo, man, but let's get into it. Guitar Season guitar one, guitar episode guitar one. Guitar. The name of this episode is We yeah. Only See Each Other at Weddings and Funerals. Interesting. I did not know. You talking your 2K ATM. Let's get into this, man. Oh, that shit look like, remember Muhammad Ali's picture where he's going across the bottom? That's what it looked like, too? Yep. Yeah. 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 Whoa, here? <laughs> At the pool? Gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck? Yes. Oh. What the, wait, what? Wait. That's a different type of kiss right there, nigga. Kiss so good, nigga, she got pregnant. That's the law of surprise right there. <laughs> Forty-three women around the world gave birth at the same time. We got seven out of the forty-three. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? Damn! Hey, it's a family picture. Number three, Allison. Close. 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 Stay sober and he's already getting drugs. <laughs> he's already on the fucking ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. 
<laughs> all right, all right. I was like, wait, am I seeing something? Nope, it's a monkey. Up. He be working, bro. Okay, time for bed now, kids. Come along now. Nobody even said anything. <laughs> that nigga don't give a fuck. <laughs> nigga even flinch, look up, or nothing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the issue of the missing monocle. Such a, a stupid monocle. Exactly. It's worthless. So whoever took it, I think it's worth one. I think one of us killed that. Damn. Wait. 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 Ben's like, nigga, I hate doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I love that little kid. Yeah. Because he has like the demeanor that's older than them. That's your book, by the way. Found in the library and I was supposed to get in. Found these secrets. Oh, no, I was going to finish my traffic. Number six, man. <laughs> Everything he did to you, he had to ship you a million miles away. Diego, stop talking. That's how much he couldn't stand the sight of you. <laughs> Boys, stop this at once. This <laughs> is <laughs> 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 protection. Oh, damn, oh, push number shit. six off his dick. Damn. Is the mother real, bro? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> is as a rope stretched between the animal and the superhuman. As much as you must strive for individual greatness and strive you must, or it won't come to you of its own accord. But the ties that bind you together make you stronger than you are. They got tatted early, nigga. <laughs> So was she just born and she just doesn't have any powers? We can accomplish anything. Together we will stand against the reign of evil. Well, this thing is kind of sick though. <laughs> Look at your next film. Hope it turns out better than your marriage. Oh That's fucked God. up. Damn Diego, what the yeah, fuck I do to you? He's an asshole, These man. These be crazy, man. He didn't get to drink his coffee. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, no. Not the gonads. Not the yadda. Damn. He's really savage. Oh, my gosh. He has the monocle. Why does he have it? Who's that? <laughs> oh, that's number six. Because he could talk to the dead, right? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Still <a> nerd. <laughs> This show is fucking great. This is my type of shit. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was awesome shit. Like oh, listen, look. The world ends in eight days. Oh, shit. That was the answer. That was the <laughs> that's answer. That's how you end fucking show. episode episode one, nigga. Yeah, that's like the craziest response somebody can give you. Yeah, the world's gonna end in eight days, and I don't know how to stop it. This some coffee on the This pot. is fire. No, no. This show, I'm not gonna front. I, the Umbrella Academy offer just by the name I thought it was gonna be more like drama based, like Gossip Girl ish type. Like, honestly, thought it was gonna be like Pretty Little Liars type. So, walking into this and seeing what this, like, 
I this is one of the shows that I would watch on my own time. I would watch ahead. Like I like superheroes, but I like it being an in depth story. And I like how it didn't take the approach of um, the boys with the like mm-hmm. very vulgar. I feel like this is more. It has that, but it's mm. mass sophisticated in the same sense. And I just like, I just like how I, like, this is just a great first episode. Yeah. I was really into. I like how like the main dude is kind of like Professor X, but asshole. Who's main? Oh, you talking about the yeah, dog, the, 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 not the, the main, not the main dude. Their their yeah, father, father, father is an asshole. Like, and they all went through their shit with their father, which we haven't gotten to more depth yeah, in. Yeah, but it looks like that. It looks like number two don't fuck with him the most. Um, and they're all traumatized in some way, shape, or form by their father. By their father, and I like the whole aspect of number seven. It seems like she has no powers, but I think no. Nah, I honestly think she might just be OP, and we just don't know it yet. No, I think right. she definitely has a power. I think that's going to be, like, we have to figure out your power to save the world in eight days. I feel like that's going to be a lot of the thing. Like, everybody else has this particular power. Like, Shorty can look at you and tell you that she heard a rumor and it's going to happen. That's pretty nutty. Like, they all have really yeah. interesting you powers. So, <laughs> yeah, like, I heard a rumor. <laughs> it's like, nah, I don't, like back, nigga. I don't like this. So, I'm interested to see what her power ends up being. And I, it's definitely a very complex story. It's one of the more complex I've seen in terms of shows like this. It's very so addictive, I'll tell you that, man. When I were, first watched the first episode, I had to keep going, bro. Yeah, like, I wanted to watch addictive. the second episode. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this is, I feel like it's not complicated. Like, I feel like, the like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is mad different. Like, it's between the Watchmen, because we watch the Watchmen, like, the movie and stuff. I feel like it's a superhero world, but so fucking complicated. And I feel like the boys are so, like, this is really not that mm-hmm. complicated. And I think, but still, Sophisticated, so I don't know how to explain. They really mastered it being high level, but still easy to digest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love the fact that it's like they give you the plot like right away. Like, yo, the world ends in eight days, yep. <laughs> and we just gotta find out how. You know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah. that the fact it, that the plot happens in eight days. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Is like it's fire to me because, like, I'm I'm looking to find out so much detail and information over eight. Days of time, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, that really interests me because we see shows that take forever and years to mm-hmm. complete. Like we're watching The Witcher right now, and it's like decades of information. Yeah, <laughs> that's, just yeah. All, that's all just twisted in one, and you don't yeah. know where the fuck, what direction is about to go in too. Like I like how, I like how they gave us like mysteries with all the characters. Like I honestly don't. I know he has a monocle, but honestly, I think there's more to it. And I don't think that the father's dead. Um, I think maybe he found the monocle. And maybe the father was kidnapped or the father could be the villain. Um, also, I really just want to know who the other guys were in who were trying to go after number five and why they're trying to go after number five. Because it seems like they mm-hmm. might play a big role into why the world is going to be destroyed to begin with. And number five is the one who is trying to go back in time, is traveling through time to try to figure out different ways of stopping them. And he's gotten back to this point where it's like, all right, the world's going to end in eight days what the fuck we gonna do yeah that's why I fucked with the show so much because you had everybody present to us and then you had the character number five that came from the future knows what happened but has no idea how it happened and just trying to figure that out and so you have everything of what it is but not what happened and stuff like that so that's what makes the dynamic of the show so far I thought it was funny because like from Jump Street I thought the premise of the show was gonna be completely different because once it was like I thought it was gonna be all about all their daddy issues and how they find out who actually killed their dad. Mm. And then at the end, they threw the wrench in of like, yeah, we gotta find out who killed dad and shit, but yo, the world gonna end in eight days. So. <laughs> like, all right, well. That could play a part. Yeah, yeah it could be. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I think it's interesting. Cause I think like, they had me thinking it was gonna be a completely different. Like, now I'm like, oh, now they have to find out how the world ends. What does the dad have to do with that? Cause it seemed like the dad's favorite was the teleporting kid, right? Like, they had said something like that. Why did you get that impression? Because no, I think they it was the girl. The oh, girl, was it? It was the girl with the ordinary paws. What I mean, with no paws. Vanya? Yeah, she was Vanya. always next to him, too, when they were training and everything. Like, Can I remember and that? that? They said nigga said it, too. He was like, yo, remember, your dad loved you. Like, I think that's probably why them kids could even be jet. Like, she gave the stories up. I don't know, man. It's a lot of shit. And even the nigga that died, I feel like he has a important part that just popped up at the end. And I just think um, this is going to be one of my favorites, man. Who is your, who's your favorite so far, like, out of the seven? I like number two and number five. Number two is an asshole, but 
there's something about him that is just like there's something about him that hasn't yeah. bothered and I yeah. wanna yeah, I wanna learn to what it is, what exactly happened between him and father to have him so bothered and so irked. But he's still doing what he was like born to do, which is like save people's lives at the end of the day. Right. Mm-hmm. Even though he is he is an asshole and he has a monocle. He might know exactly what happened to father or it's either he knows what exactly happened to him or he's the one who killed him. But I don't know. I think for, he, I think him killing him is way too obvious. For he me. definitely knows something because homie said, I think Luther had said to him, like, yo, he, you never seen that man without his monocle. So if it's not there, somebody clearly took it. And the fact that he had it in his hand and they had to have a conversation about it, it's like, mm-hmm. so what you know that I don't know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's the only thing I thought about that. But my favorite is definitely teleporting. The, uh, is that number five? Number five, yeah. The man that teleports, and then number seven, because I think that's a big key to the show, like, what's her power? She clearly has something. I think that's why the dad kept him near her all the time. It wasn't that she was ordinary. It's more so, like, you have to grow into that, whatever. Her, her mind is, is her power. I think yeah. that's... So I don't think she has a power. I think her mind is a power. I think, I think that's why her dad liked that. her so much, because I feel like the dad was also very smart putting this team together and stuff, and she probably could continue the legacy with her mind. Remember, he even popped up on her and said... Yo, I fuck with you because you're ordinary. You listen. Like, the ego having a power, her power power is listening and being able to create. Because she did create the book as well. So she's very artistic. So I think her power is just being smart. So Yeah, I think my favorite at this point uh, was definitely, I, I love number five. And I don't forget what number Klaus is. I, I feel think like he's Cl- number three. He got to be like number three or four. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I just like his ability. Nah, he's number four. Number four, mm-hmm. yeah. His ability to talk to the dead. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. it's so cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, and I love how they like they try to integrate the, the dead member of the umbrella mm-hmm. academy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah while, with his power. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Like, so I love that take on it too. Yeah, I love um, I love Klaus because of, like he brought the sense of humor to the yeah, show. Exactly. Like that. Yeah, exactly. Dress like him. Dress like young thug. Well, yo, shout out to my nigga Walsh for suggesting this heat, man. Yeah. Um, no way I'm playing with this shit. And another <laughs> thing, too. Another thing, too, is... Yo, thanks, Robbie. I like... <laughs> thanks, Robbie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, I like how... I want to see how the... I want to see how number six is going to be implemented in the show. Because, like, from the dead, is he going to help him? Is he going to give him cues to be like, listen, this is what's going to happen. This is why people's going to die. This, this, that, and third, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, moving forward. So, like, because it seems like if they're showing him, if they just showed him talking to Klaus, that he has to play some type of a big role in this, you know what I'm saying? For helping the team and whatnot. Yeah. And, I don't think you're the comic man yet. They're more, they're more like the cartoon. Yo, man, but I can't wait to see what happens for the rest yeah, of this TV show, man. This first episode was crazy, man. Make sure you keep it locked. Get that notification bell on so every time we drop a video, you know about it first. If it's your first time here, definitely won't be a last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash. smash. That subscribe button. I go by the name of DC. Follow me on Instagram, DCZ underscore World RT. It's going to be fire, man. Hey, look, grab your umbrellas, man. Patrick RT, I already know this. Can't wait to continue on with the show with the game, man. Yo, it's the man, the, the man at Wilkins underscore RT. This show is fire, yo. That's all I have to say. Yo, it's your boy Wells, the anime king, aka the comic maniac. Yeah, 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 yeah. all that shit, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Nah, shout out to everybody who voted for Umbrella Academy. Y'all voted it for a good reason. It's a mm-hmm. great show, and I can't wait to continue watching. Yo, yo, you already know it's your boy Rob City RT, the Asian Prince. And if you want to see these niggas get busted in superhero video games, make sure you follow us on Twitch at RTTV5. You already know what the shit is. Ella, a a under my umbrella. <laughs> Yo, man, you got the jingle. Yeah, I said, "Is it at the round table?"